Welcome back everyone, Bryce or Minecraft Evolution here. Today we will be showing you um how to make um how to make a render with FMR rig. The reason why I decided to do this tutorial is because I don't use the FMR rig anymore. Um I mean I don't use the hyper rig anymore, I use the FMR rig just because I think it's a pretty good rig in general. Um I've been fooling around with my mic, like I've been playing with the gain, so my last video it sounded pretty far away, but this video I'm trying to figure out which settings are the best. Um I created, I created a Twitter, um, if you go to my channel, if you go to my links, it should be there. I created a new channel called Evolution FX, where I'll be posting my graphic design. So to use the FMR rig, um, open up Cinema 40. I'm using R16. So I just recorded a video, it didn't work out so good, something was wrong with the rig, so I have to do this again. So just go to FMR rig. Um, so what you do, go, I went a little faster, go to presets and FMR rig, just drag it into your Maxon folder, and then go to browser and library and put it in here. Open up that FMR rig. Okay, and this is it, technically speaking. The, FM, the FMR 4 was, I used it. It was okay, it's not the best. So we'll be showing you how to use the FMR rig for renders. And so first of all, I'm going to close all these tabs so I can go show you guys one by one. First of all is the function. Um, the first tab, you can change the scale if you want. It, default is 1. This is the skin. It has to be a 1.8 skin. So I'm going to grab my favorite 1.8 skin. If I can find it, I think it's in here. Um, no, I'm just gonna use my regular one. Who cares? Next up um, is the cape. You can add a cape file, or you can use this. If you, if you check the cape off, it's just a regular little S that looks pretty neat in general. But if you want your own cape, you have to click on the cape thing. Next up is the arms. You can use the world arms. I don't. I don't really know what that does um but you can do right or you can have fingers where if you press this you can make the fingers that's pretty cool but at the same time looks weird because you know why would you have fingers um there's the lower leg you can have feet no feet next up is the face um you could change the eye colors um i think the fmr rig is a really good rig just showing you how to use it eye colors there's eyes you can do double eyes and then you can do pupils doubled and then you can move the thing down it's like that eyes i don't want eyes um the mouth i really love the mouth um it allows you to do really cool things change it right here you can drag it up like that and make it smiling drag it up right there e there we go i think his smile is a little too big so you'd bring it down a little bit um pupils off female eyebrows i love that you can have female eyebrows if you're doing uh like a girl render or female whatever teeth no spacing i like no spacing the best next up is the body parts um you can do alex so the arms change and everything um hat or second layer if you have a second layer i have a second layer so i just turned that on you can do your body because i noticed that in 1.8 you can now do second layers so i uh you can add second layers Next up is the armor. You can put any armor you want. What I love about this is that it's separated into helmet, chest piece, right arm piece, left arm piece, lower chest piece, right legging, left legging, and right boot and left boot. Uh, to change the armor, go to FMR armor option. You can change it to iron, you know, leather, whatever, etc. And 4.0 means that you can change the hue and saturation for the helmet and the chest plate. If you go down to the boots, you can change the saturation, the thing. It works really nice. I really like that. Um, so that's the armor, um, turn all this off, okay, um, tools, tools are my favorite, you can do wood, stone, iron, gold, and diamond, um, there's axe and all these other things here, you can change the scale up, so you can have, like, like, he's a butcher, you know, <laughs> or a miner, a huge miner, um, and you can do the bow, what I love about the bow is that you can actually, um, left bow, right bow, you can actually make the bow, um, pull back, to move the bow around, click on this box, and then you can uh, move it around like that. For some reason, when you keyframe, um, the bow, the string doesn't pull back. I'm not sure. I have to try that again. Um, but that's pretty much it for this. No, I'm not kidding. It's not it for this rig. There's a lot more. Um, next up is extruding. Most people know what extruding is. What extruding is, is it makes things that are 3D. See how I, um, on my skin, I have like a glove on, whatever. Uh, you can make it look real. So what you do is you go to the layers panel, um, check off the body and click on the polygons mode and select the thing that you want to extrude so then go to polygons mode select what you want to extrude you can extrude this select it um, by holding shift see if you were to hold shift if you're just 
click here, it will just not save. So hold shift when you do it. And then when you're done, press D on your keyboard. Might have to click it two times. And change the maximum offset to 91. Maximum angle and change the offset to 1. You can click enter or click apply. And that basically makes it pretty neat and 3D. Um, but I'm not going to do that just for the tutorial's sake. Just because it takes a while. Next up is for the head. Uh, you could do it for the legs and everything. But head is a little different. You have still have to unlock this. Um, go into the FMR rig and go to head. Pull that down and extrude mesh head. Turn these red things into all both of them into no color. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, you can extrude what you want. There's a thing about the head though, and that's why I added the mouth. You say if you extrude this, bang, you don't have a mouth. See how you don't have a mouth? So to fix that problem, what you do is you when you're done extruding the head, you select the part you select the front of the face that's not that's not extruded just like this and then you just press the delete key and what that does is it adds the mouse back uh mouth back oh dude just press delete done so that's um extruding so we kind of got that over with um and just leave the lights or whatever these are leave them without no color if you change them back um doesn't really change anything okay next up is the mesh head you can extrude the second layer. I don't know why people would extrude the second layer, but that's it for extruding. Extruding really adds a lot of things for this rig. And then when you're done, um, just lock the body again. So, you know, you can select the parts of the body. And so, okay, now it's moving on to rendering. Most people don't know how to render um, this because it looks really terrible when you render it. I have some render settings that can help you guys out. You can squash the head here. Go on to movement now. Squash the head. Another thing you can do is you can go to the arm. So this arm... You can move it around, etc. You can stretch it. Really love that in the FMR rig. You can bend it like that. This is the, like, um, hard to explain. It's like your fingers. You can bend it up in the side. And I don't really use it. It just looks really weird. I don't know why people would want to use it. But that's their opinion. This is, um, you can, like, move the arm. That's basically his elbow or his shoulder. And uh, you can turn it to the right a little bit, just like that. Do this to the other arm, too. Turn it like that. And go back to this. And is the legs. So this, I like, what I like doing, I like to shift-click both legs, bring them up a little bit, just like that. And then take one leg. Bang. And bang. Uh, next up is the waist. You can do... Pretty much anything you want with the waist. You can bend it back just like that. That's the waist. You can also, if I show you here, uh, if I can get the, um, you can see here, you can bend it around. I love uh, that pretty cool feature there. Um, you can select this here, and then you can, you can basically do some pretty weird movements. You know, <laughs> um, you can just turn them like that next up is this piece right here you can i love this you can basically make him look like he's doing almost anything you want even though it looks creepy okay do a little critical pose here next up is the head uh, i love about the this rig is that in the hyper rig you had to go into here and move the head but here you can just uh, move the head like that um one thing about the hyper rig is that he deleted his channel i have no idea why he deleted it i don't know don't know but um once you have your pose, render settings are the most hard thing in this rig. Most people don't know what to do for the render settings. Um, another thing is you can click on this and you can uh, uh, move this around. Love that too. So, um, this is basic object FMR options. So, um, for the render settings, most people don't know what to do for the render settings, as I said that already. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. So, I'm just going to call it tutorial and save it on my desktop. Bang. Now you're going to exit out of this and you're going to download Prez's HD lighting pack. It is free. And what you do is you open it up. Link will be in the description. Open it up. And then once you open it up, you're going to do um, the render settings are already in here. And the render settings are really good. Um, shout out to him because he made some really good render settings. And because I'm a fan. And um, open up and click file merge and open up this. Now once you get there, it should get up right there and um save wherever you want i don't like saving it now i like saving it when i'm done rendering and alpha channels are already selected so you don't see the background one thing if you choose a sky his head will be 
have this box around it so i won't do that and you're gonna the lights are already on and create a camera if you want to create a camera i don't really don't do it though and then you're gonna see this like dark outline right there if you put it so you go like this the head isn't going to be showing so you have to make it pretty good and then once you're done you can do a preview render by doing command r or pressing this or you can just render it so i'm gonna render it and sorry for been talking a little bit fast i don't know why i'm really doing that um pretty quick tutorial on how to use the fmr rig um so let's see what this renders So, once it's done rendering, um, you'll see some fuzzies around it. That's perfectly normal. Just do File, Save As, and uh, right here. Okay, and I'm going to use this as a thumbnail, and you can name it whatever you want. Uh, just Might as well do this. And I'm going to name it um, Tutorial FMR. This is the FMR Fry Rig, and just change save it to whatever you want. And you can get that up there. Um, I'm not gonna save. Um, it's gonna ask you if you want to save the Prez Lightroom thing. Click no because you want it to be. You don't have. You don't. You don't want to have the rig in the actual thing because you might want to add other things to it. And that's it. That is it, guys. Uh, let's see how this looks. Cinema 40 renders. Where is it? I have a lot of renders, honestly. Uh, see. Um, this is with the hyper rig. It looks pretty simple. Nothing really special about it, and this is with the FMR rig. If I can, there it is. So it looks pretty good. Um, the fuzzies, it's fine. You're not use, you're just not gonna be in a banner or something. But it looks really good. You can add a lot of things with the FMR rig. That's what I like about it. It's very simple. Um, I should call the hyper rig simple, not this one. But um, hope you enjoy the video. That's how you make how, make renders with the FMR rig. I'll do other and more tutorials. But hope you enjoyed that video and. Um, uh, I can't speak today, but hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.